everyone, and thank you for joining me. I'm Vicki Murphy. I am a GeroLine specialist at Expium, which is a platinum solutions partner with Atlassian and is now a proud Valiantis company. In this video, I'll be doing an in-depth walkthrough of the new navigation user interface for Jira Align. This update does only impact the navigation of the tool. The functionality and UI of various modules within JiraLine aren't impacted at this time. They may receive their own updates in the future, uh, but this update, we're just really focusing on the navigation of the tool. This is an update that Atlassian has been talking about for a while, so you may have already heard about this or uh, even seen a high-level walkthrough. Uh, we are going to go ahead and go pretty in-depth with it today. Um, in a recent roadmap update, the Atlassian team did mention that we will see this rolling out in Q3 and Q4 of 2023. Some specific dates they mentioned, starting July 7th of 2023, administrators will be able to enable a setting that will uh, allow users to toggle between the uh, legacy UI and the new UI update we'll look at today. They recommend doing this in your test environment uh, so that you can experience the new UI as well as update any of your training materials. About a month after that, in mid-August, they will be enabling that toggle for all end users in production environments. And we'll have a three-month period where Atlassian will be collecting feedback and making adjustments. And after that, uh, likely in the November timeframe, Atlassian will be fully removing that toggle and we will all be uh, in the new UI. I am recording this video in June of 2023, so just be aware, depending on when you watch this video, Atlassian may have made some updates. You may see something slightly different on your screen from what I'm showing. Of course, if there's any major updates, we will be making a new version of this video. Let's go ahead and jump into Jira Align. All right, here I am in Jira Line, and you may be thinking, Vicki, this doesn't look any different. And that is because I am starting in the legacy UI. I want to show you how you can toggle to the new UI for anyone watching this prior to the full rollout of this update. Once the toggle is uh, enabled, either by your administrators or by Atlassian, in the top right corner, uh, a little ways down from the Create button, you should see this toggle here. If you hover over it, it says Enable New Navigation. And when we click this and give it just a second, Voila, we are here in the new UI. We're going to go ahead and take an in-depth walkthrough of this. Uh, you may already be noticing several of the changes uh, that are a part of this update. Um, really, what we are seeing is that the navigation of this tool is starting to look a lot more like Atlassian's other cloud products like Jira Software and Confluence. Let's go ahead and start in the left-hand corner and just work our way across this new navigation bar. First, uh, the navigation bar has moved from that left-hand panel in the legacy UI to the top of the screen here. Starting with the JiraLine logo, logo, this is no longer a clickable button. Instead, we now have a home button that will bring you to the home screen, which is what I'm seeing here. After that, we're going to see the layers of scale. Do keep in mind that uh, what you see here will depend on your environment and if you have customized any terminology in Jira Align, as well as your permissions in the tool. Um, here we start with the strategy level. Each of these levels, when we select them, it's going to give us our available options that we have permission to select. For strategy, we are going to see our strategic uh, snapshots. For portfolios, we'll see our portfolios, solutions, programs, teams, uh, and even product, we'll see the available options here. Most of these navigation, uh, uh, or most of the navigation for these layers does work the same across them. So I'm going to demonstrate all of this at the program layer here. First, I'm going to search uh, using this navigate or this search bar here for my uh, appropriate program. So I'm going to choose my website services program. Once this loads, we will see a left-hand navigation bar. This is pretty similar to navigating in Jira software where you choose a project and then you have the left-hand navigation bar to toggle through your different modules. And that's exactly what we're seeing here. Uh, this is a collapsible sidebar. So if it is collapsed for you, you can hover over uh, the uh, little carrot here and click that to expand the uh, sidebar. Starting at the top, we do have a dropdown where we can choose a different program if we choose Below that, we then see our time increment. So for uh, uh, this, this is a, our program increments. It's going to show us the PIs that are associated to our program. This would be true at the solution and portfolio layers as well. We are able to select one or multiple here and then click apply when we are done. 
Below that, we then see our modules. And what Atlassian has really done here is pulled those uh, really frequently used modules to the very top for us. Each layer of scale that has uh, an applicable room, uh, that room is going to be the landing page essentially for that layer. So here we have the program room, we would have the portfolio room, strategy room, et cetera. Um, and really the room, I like to describe it as a dashboard for that layer of scale. So it's a really great landing place for us to just get those quick metrics about uh, that, that particular layer. Below that, we'll then see our grid. So here we have our features of, at the program level. When we click on this, it's going to be auto filtered. You can see that up here at the top for the specific program and PI we've selected through this navigation. Below that, we'll have our backlog and then other modules like our roadmaps, objective tree, work tree, and program board for the uh, program layer. You might see different modules uh, in the uh, other layers of scale, but they all work the same. You can click on them to navigate to that module. Below that, we then have the manage, track, and transform option. We did see these sections in the legacy uh, UI. Now we can click into them to see the various lists. So when we click on manage, we'll see the various um, uh, items that we can manage at that layer of scale, such as our program objectives, our dependencies, our risks. You can click back to previous menu up here uh, above that list to get back to uh, the main menu. We can click on track to see some reports, some of our maps. Um, and then under transform, uh, we'll have additional reports, assessments if they're enabled, et cetera. Below that, we then have uh, this Teams option. Depending on the layer of scale that you are at, you may see a different uh, uh, term here. Because I'm at the program layer, what I can do is click on this and see the teams that make up that program. If you were on, let's say, a portfolio, you would see the programs that make up that portfolio. And what we can use this as is a quick button to uh, that specific team layer filtered by that team. So I can click on my Aardvark team here. It's going to jump me to uh, the team menu here starting with the team room, and it's going to be auto filtered for that aardvark scrum team. If you want to get back to the program layer, you can go through all of that navigation again, or you can press back on your browser. If you're able to update some of the settings around the layer that you are viewing, you will see uh, that uh, settings button at the bottom here. Here I see the program settings. Let's go ahead and jump back to the top navigation bar. So uh, we just walked through uh, the uh, layers of scale and how we navigate through those. The product module works very similar to the layers of, of scale. We can choose the applicable product, jump to that uh, uh, navigation menu. Uh, if we have custom rooms enabled, you'll see those here. And then we get to the items drop down. And this is where we're going to be able to quickly jump to the grid of uh, various levels. So uh, here we have uh, our work items at the top, our themes all the way down to tasks. One update you may already notice is that our uh, images or icons for these various work items has uh, received a, a little bit of a makeover here. So they look a little bit more modern and from features down to tasks, they now match what we see over in Jira software. So these are the layers of scale that uh, can sync between Jira software and Jira line. So we're seeing a little bit of similarity between the systems here. You can click on any of these uh, uh, options and it will jump you to that work item grid. Now, the difference between navigating to the work item grid under items versus by going to the layer of scale, choosing your specific program portfolio, et cetera, and then getting to the grid is what filters will or won't be applied. When you click on items and click on a work item, it jumps you to that grid with no filters applied. So these are going to be all of the epics, for example, that you uh, have permission to view in the system. You can apply additional filters by clicking apply filters here. Based on the layer of scale, you can make your selections, a specific program, a specific time uh, increment, et cetera. If you go through the other navigation, what I just showed of choosing, let's say, a program, and then we go to website services, et cetera, it is going to auto filter down that grid based on those selections. So based on your layer of scale that you selected, based on your PI, if you selected one in the left-hand panel. Also under items, we have other uh, objects such as objectives, dependencies, ideas, risks. Some of our time increments like sprints and program increments and release vehicles can be navigated to from here as well. 
Next to the items drop down, we have our reports menu. Uh, this jumps us to that overview of reports here. Of course, you can navigate to many of the reports from the various uh, uh, layers of scale, as well as uh, things like grids and backlogs. You can jump to some reports. Depending on how you navigate here, you may need to fill out some in-page filters in these reports, or it may be pre-filtered for you, similar to how we navigated to the, to the grid in various ways. Next to that, we have our create button. We've always had a blue create button in Jira line. It's just moved over on this bar to be more centered as opposed to the far right. Continuing down, here we have our toggle if you need to flip back to the legacy UI again. Uh, we have our personas. If you have those enabled, uh, you can click on those here. We have our search uh, icon. Here we are able to search for a work item uh, ID or a keyword in that work item. We have our in-app notifications. These are specific to Jira Align still. The checkbox is where we can uh, access our checklists and our training simulations if they're enabled. And then we have this uh, uh, question mark, and this is the help button. Jira Align has always had a help button. Uh, so this was uh, typically in the bottom right corner of the tool, uh, and it is a contextual help. So it's gonna show you the documentation for the specific module you're viewing. Um, this is all still available. It still works the same in uh, the new UI. It's just move the button from that bottom right-hand corner up to uh, the top navigation panel. If you have the ability to update any admin settings, you can access those by clicking this settings gear here. And then we have our profile. So again, this is just moved from the top left corner to the top right corner. We can see information about Jira Align. And then we have our personal uh, settings. One thing I'll mention is personal settings in the legacy UI. This is called personal preferences. This is where you can update some notification settings, how many work items you can view in a list in Jira Align, etc. And then you have your profile where you can update your profile picture, view your team information, things like that. And here's where you can still log out if you need to. One piece of the legacy UI that is currently not included in the new UI is the ability to search your favorite for various modules in Jira Align. So I wanna just give a couple uh, quick tips that we're giving to our customers around this. When it comes to favoriting, I recommend utilizing your browser favorites, how you would bookmark any page across your uh, browser and maybe making a new folder just for Jira Align so you can quickly navigate to the various modules you're interested in. As for searching, uh, this may be an adjustment uh, if you have used the uh, legacy UI for a long time, but overall I do think that Atlassian has really achieved their goal of making the interface easier to navigate for end users. What I recommend is that as soon as you are able to start utilizing that new UI, go ahead and toggle that on. Utilize that three month period that Atlassian is giving us to toggle between the legacy and new UI to really learn where those various reports or modules that you uh, uh, frequent are located in the new UI. Um, and then again, utilize uh, the favoriting in your browser to save those easily. And that is the walkthrough through the uh, upcoming changes to the user interface for navigating Jira Align. Thank you very much for joining me. And as always, good luck on your Jira Align journey.